Okay, we're taking a look at log equations. So let's look at one. Let's say log x plus log x plus 3 is equal to 1. So first of all, from the previous video, we know that addition corresponds to multiplication. So we're going to multiply x and x plus 3, which will give us x squared plus 3x is equal to 1. Now we have log notation. We're going to change this to exponential notation. Now the base of this log, since we don't see anything, is going to be 10. 10 raised to the first power is equal to x squared plus 3x. Now if you need help with this transition, you will see that at the end of this video, if you need help with that. So what I need to do now is make this equation into standard form. So I'll push everything to one side, which will give me the ability to factor. And this will factor into x plus 5 and x minus 2. And the answer will give you x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to 2. Now, anytime you have your answers with a logarithmic equation, you want to go back and make sure it makes sense. Make sure that it doesn't cause an error. Now, if you ever take the log of a negative number, you're going to get an error in your calculator. So if you notice, if you put in negative 5 in the original equation, you're going to be taking the log of a negative. So if I plug in negative 5 for x, it's going to turn into log of negative 5, which automatically tells you that this is not going to work. So we have to exclude this answer as one of our solutions. Now if I plug in 2, it doesn't cause any problems. We have log of 2, and then we have log of 2 plus 3, which will give you log of 5, and that's not going to give you... Um, let me scoot this over a little bit. When I plug in 2, it's not going to create a situation where I'm taking the log of a negative number, so it's all good. Now let's see another example. Let's say I have log, hmm. let's say I have log base 2 of 7 minus log base 2 of x and say that this is equal to 5. So I want to combine this into one single log. That's always your goal. You want one log. And since this is subtraction, that means we need to divide the 7 and the x. And I have equal 5. So now I have one log. That's always the goal. Now we're going to change this log notation to exponential. The base is 2 raised to 5 equals 7 over x. And I need to solve for x. So let's figure out what 2 to the 5th power is. That's 32 is equal to 7 over x. And I need to solve for x, so therefore I need to multiply by the LCD to get rid of the fraction. That'll be 32x equals 7, and then divide by 32. So I get x is equal to 7 over 32. And again, you want to check the original to make sure you're not taking the log of a negative. So go back up to the top and put 7 over 2 into your equation. If I put 7 over 2 into the original equation, let me scroll back up here to the top. Um, let's see, I have 7 base, I mean log of 2 base 7, uh, log base 2 of 7 minus log base 2 of 7 over 32. That's all good because you're not taking the log of a negative. So let's see another example. Hmm. Let us do let's do log 
5 plus log x equals 3. The goal is to get a single log. So I have addition. That means you multiply 5 and x to bring it together as one log. I'm changing this to exponential notation. The base is 10 because you don't see anything. So 10 raised to the third power is equal to 5x. 10 to the third power is 1,000. It's equal to 5x. And then I divide by 5. I get 200. So x is equal to 200. And when I plug that into the original equation, I'm not taking the log of a negative number. So I have log 5 plus log of 200. No, I'm not taking the log of a negative number, so we're all good. Now, how am I changing log notation to exponential notation? This is very important. So let me go through a couple of examples where I'm changing log notation into exponential notation, just in case you're having problems with that. So you have two situations here. You have log notation and you have exponential notation. So log notation looks like this. Y is equal to log base B of Y. This is log notation. Now you need to change this to exponential. Now remember exponential notation is the inverse of log. So if you're talking about an inverse, all you're doing is switching your X and Y. Your base is always going to stay the same. So the base of the log is going to be the base in your exponential, and then you just switch the X and Y. Instead of B being with X, B is going to be with Y, and instead of Y being by itself, the X is going to be by itself. So let me put numbers in here. I have log base 4 of 64 is equal to 3. Now the base is 4. Instead of 4 being with 64, 4 is going to be with 3, and then the 64 goes on the other side. you got to switch your x and y, basically. Base stays the same, just switch your x and y. Now let me give you an exponential and change it to log. So the base is 8, so log base 8, and then switch the 0 and 1. 